In today's video, we will discuss how to connect Covto Form 7 data via Webhook. So as you know, Webhook is a method of uh, transferring data from one application to another. So we will show how to do this with Covto Form 7. So basically, we will record this video part by part. We will show you how to connect uh, via Pebbly. And on another video, we will show how to connect via Zapier. On another video, we'll show how to connect two different WordPress plugins like Fluent CLM or Fluent Support. So on this video, we really discuss with how to connect with Publi. So this is almost the same process of off, connecting with anywhere book. So let me get started. So first of all, you to make sure you have contact form 7 and ultimate add-ons for contact form 7 is enabled. Now, we only recovered how to install this on another video. Just check this video, which should pop up on top of this video by the. Now, let's go to all adults and search for my book. And here you find this add on. You need to enable this add on. Now, let's go and connect our form. So, we name this form Pebbly because this is a Pebbly setup. Now, we scroll down, enable lawyer book, and hit save. Now you will see on lawyer book, we have different options. Uh, the request URL, the request method, we have the add post, put, delete that. Depending on the platform, you will have to select which method you want to use. And here we have uh, the JSON format and the form not the format. So we also have the, the requ request header options where you can send um, by form that our custom value. And here we have the request party. So let's go to Pebbly and get our request URL first. So we here is the Pebbly dashboard. So uh, as you are on this video and guessing you already have a Pebbly account. Uh, now on the dashboard, you need to click Pebbly Connect and Access Now. It should open all a new tab and take you to the connect guide board here in order to create a workflow. So we name this uh, CF7 workflow and create. So on the workflow, you will immediately find this webhook or you can search here. So we create webhook here. And on the trigger event, we had to search for um, Catch webhook. Now we need to copy this URL and go to our form and paste that URL along this uh, request URL an option. Request method can be posed. Form can be JSON. No need for the header of or this one. Here we select name and you can name this name. We duplicate this. Uh, this can be email. Let's duplicate. This can be subject, duplicate, and this can be message. Now we hit save. Now let's copy this form as publish. We go to a page. We may make a blee. Please go to view page. Now let's try and fill up our form. So the form has been submitted. Let's go and check our response. So here you can see we already got the response. So this is the subject. This is Charles Brown. This is our message. This is our email. So we successfully got our data on Pebbly. Now you just have to go ahead and uh, you co connect this data with your preferred app, whichever app you want to. So from this part, you can check Pebbly's tutorial, Pebbly's documentation, how to connect each of these app. So that's basically it for our part. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions.